What is up, guys? This is Patriots with a game of uh, Headhunter on um, Halo Reach. And uh, yeah, I didn't mention this in my last video. I meant to, though. Um, Halo Reach is the reason I own an Xbox, and the reason that you guys on Xbox get to play with me if you send me an invite. Um, and basically, how it all went down is I saw the uh, Halo Reach, the original trailer thing, which I don't even think it was a trailer, wasn't it? Just like the planet and it said Halo Reach um, on the Video Game Awards on Spike TV, like back last year. And um, when I saw that, I said, you know, I want to play that game. And I can't. And I sat there for hours thinking about how much of a loser I felt. Just sitting there and without the ability to play Halo Reach. And how I hated myself for not having an Xbox and everything. And um, I think I think those awards are before Christmas. I might be wrong. But either way I didn't end up getting it for Christmas because I was getting a new TV. So regardless of if they were before or after I couldn't get it then. And, um, so, in March, my birthday was in April, and I got money from people to go out and buy my Xbox, which now I happily play as my primary console over my PS3, only because of the controller. Really, there's nothing great about the Xbox other than the controller, and Xbox Live is better than the PlayStation Network, but... Other than that, it really doesn't make a difference to me which console I'm on, and I'm sorry if the breathing is going on in this thing. I don't have my little mic covering device with me right now, so you're going to have to deal with it, I guess. And, um, so yeah, here I am playing Halo Reach, uh, what you guys would probably call free-for-all, um, Headhunter, on a map that looks exactly like a map from Blacklight Tango Down. I don't know what the map in Blacklight's called, but this looks exactly like it, and I'm not kidding even a little bit. If you guys have played that game and you know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? It looks exactly like it. And um, while I'm on the subject of uh, what the maps are like, I'm not a big fan of the map rotation in this game. I seem to be playing the maps that they made in Forge World 99% of the time, and then I'll land on Powerhouse. And then I'll land back in Forge World and then Powerhouse. And back in Forge World and Powerhouse. Then I'll hit Reflection once. And then I'll hit that... What is that map? It looks like the map from Halo 3. I don't know if it is from Halo 3. It looks exactly like it though. Um, and um, it's just kind of aggravating. Like, Modern Warfare 2 does not jumble the maps well. But I think it does a lot better than Halo. And... It may also be contributed to the fact that people are bad at voting for maps, but I've also noticed that people, or the game, gives the option of two Forge World maps and one other map, and people don't vote, so it just picks the top map. And it's really aggravating that it does that. I think it should pick whatever has a vote, but it seems to do like... If the bottom one has one vote, it just gives it to the top one, no matter what. I don't know if that's a bug right now, or if I'm, like, in some special situation where it does that. But, um, you guys have already seen this triple in a little detach I did yesterday. But, if you haven't seen that, um, go to the channel and click on the Halo Reach playlist on the right side of the screen. But, um, yeah, I think I want to do a full montage of this game, but... It'll have to be when my Black Ops montage, or not Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2 montage is completed, which would be before Black Ops, but it's almost done right now. I just need about a minute more of clips, and uh, if I finish that up, I will get working on a Halo Reach montage. If it doesn't get finished up and I can't make it to Halo Reach montage, oh well, because I'm planning probably on end up not dropping Halo Reach completely, like I'll go back to it, but it'll definitely probably become my secondary game when Black Ops hits, because... In my heart, I'm still a Call of Duty guy, and I know I've heard this from CNATers and Hutch and all those guys that they're primarily playing Call of Duty, and Halo is just a side thing that they do when it comes out. And I don't want to be copying them, but I played Call of Duty 2 when I, uh, whenever it came out, and I was probably like 7 back then, but 
I missed out on Call of Duty 3, and it's not, it wasn't a good game anyway, so I don't feel bad for myself. And, um, I got into Call of Duty 4 a couple months later, but ever since then, I really have been a Call of Duty guy. And nothing against Halo, I like Halo and everything, but there's just something about a Call of Duty sniper rifle in my hands that is so much more enjoyable than anything I can do in Halo. And the class system in Call of Duty surpasses, I like the armor lock thing, it's a great addition, it makes it so much better than Halo 3, but it's still not the class system Call of Duty has, and that's what's going to keep me coming back to Call of Duty, and I said this in the podcast that if Black Ops does fail, I'm probably done with the Call of Duty series, and I know it's going to be hard to do that because... Pretty much Halo and Call of Duty are the only first person shooters out there that really stack up against it, you know, better than the others. Like, I'd probably put Call of Duty just a tiny bit over um, Halo, only for its class system and its frame rate, because Call of Duty plays at 60 and Halo plays at around 30, but they kind of, um, I've heard, you know, push the, uh, what do you call it? I think the system the game runs on, I forget what the exact word for it is right now, but they pushed it up so it will play it at like, kind of like a fake 60 frame rates. But, it does pretty good for itself. It's a lot better than Halo 3's graphics, I'll give it that. Um, maybe not a lot better, better, though. And, um, I know you guys, some of you said, you know, I want to see Modern Warfare 2. Halo's not as fun to watch as Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2, for me, is dead. The only thing it's going to be used for is getting the rest of my montage clips. And um, if there's a couple games out of that, you know, there are a couple games out of that. And uh, my plan right now is if any of you guys want to play with me on Halo Reach, um, because I'm probably not going to do any more open lobbies in Modern Warfare 2, because I find it to be repetitive and boring, because all open lobbies seem to go the same way. Half the people want to play free for all. Half the people want to play search and destroy. We play search and destroy. We play one free for all, and everyone pulls out noob tubes and ruins the entire thing. And in Halo, what I really want to do is get. I think I have six mongoose on the top of a little building I made in Forge World. And what I want to do is get all five other people in the lobby at least at the time. And if more people want to join, um, they may. I'm going to get five people on the mongooses, and we're going to drive them off, and there's this little jump I made, and um, I want to record that from theater mode, and show the awesomeness of our mongooses flying through the air. So, what I think I'll do is at 1 Eastern, um, that would be 6 p.m. Um, GMT, I think, if you want to play in the Halo Reach in my Forge world that I made... Um, send a private chat invite to Patriots444, and I will send you an invite to the Forge World match, and, uh, we can go have a game of, in Forge World, but at least five of you have to cooperate long enough to do the Mongoose thing I want to do. Um, because I think a good opening for the montage that I'm doing would be everyone flying off the edge in their Mongoose, and if there are more than five people who show up, I'll just put more mongooses up there. Not a problem. I just only put five because... Or I only put six of them because I put four in one part and two in the other part. But I can delete the... I think it's the Falcon or whatever it's called, the helicopter. And put uh, like four more mongooses there and we can all j drive off the end of the jump and be awesome. And sorry if I just whacked the microphone like across the friggin' room. But I like punched it. <laughs> it was a dumb move, but... I really do want to do that open lobby, so tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. GMT, and if I'm not there when I say I'm supposed to be, it'll probably only be a couple minutes later, so don't give up on me if it's 1 o'clock and I'm not answering. Just hang on and hang in there. Um, I think we'll play mainly in Forge World. Um, we won't spend the entire time with the Mongoose thing. We can just play a game, but what I think I'm going to do is tonight or tomorrow I'll let you guys play in the forge and 
I'll go and build the rest of the world because I have two of the island things pretty much done. I can always add stuff to them, but I have two of them completely done, and I could definitely continue on the other ones. So we will do that. And if Hutch's file share works out, um, he built shipment from Call of Duty 4, and I would really love to play on that, like a snipers only match. But um, you know, <laughs> I'm just kind of debating what I want to do right now as for that open lobby but if you guys have suggestions let me know and um, if you guys want to play definitely send me an invite because uh, either I'll bring you into the party I'm in or I'll come to you because I know Call of Duty is boring alone but Halo just seems to drone on and on and on when you're alone um, and especially where Halo I think is more about the objective. I know Call of Duty is supposed to be about the objective, but no one seems to care unless you're in a party. Um, but people seem to try to care in Halo, but they're just too stupid to care. Like their caring just screws everything up sometimes. Um, like people will grab the flag and they'll just throw it farther away from us. Like they'll go the wrong way with it, but they grabbed it because they wanted to say they grabbed the flag or something. So um, definitely, you know. If you want to play, let me know. I have no problem playing. And if you guys really hate Halo videos, let me know. But I think that your hating of Halo isn't hating of Halo. You just think they're boring. Um, and promise me, you don't have to watch if you really find it that annoying. But I would definitely like if you watch. Because commentary is still going to be commentary. And it doesn't mean I'm talking about Halo. The first one, I was definitely talking about Reach. And definitely reviewing it and if I come up with any bugs or anything that annoys me I'll definitely bring it up but I'm not going to spend the entire time doing a review of Reach like 300 times like I'm gonna move on eventually but I cannot currently find Hutch's um, shipment map I just typed it in and I went to Hutch's file share and looked and it's not there right now um, but as soon as it is there I will be sure to get it and make us play it because it's probably going to be the f best thing you could do on there because shipment was an awesome map and I would definitely love to play it again but right now it's not a possibility because I'm not going to spend the time to make something I can just download as soon as the file share starts working because right now Bungie's having a file share issue but as soon as they clear that up we will be able to play shipment and shipment is a cool map and I would definitely probably love it for Halo snipers Alright, so I'm going to win the Headhunter. I pretty much